Hi, I'm Dustin Harder, and this is The Vegan Roadie. Let's get the party started in New Orleans. Noted for its music, particularly as the birthplace of jazz, and also its annual lively and colorful festivals, Mardi Gras, anyone? Everyone knows that New Orleans is also world famous for its cuisine. With centuries of combining local Creole and French cuisines, the food in this town has developed its truly unique and easily recognizable Louisiana flavor. Dig into some local offerings with me as I find some of the most dynamic plant-based fare, including some signature dishes New Orleans is known for, like muffalettas, po'boys, and beignets. I'm the Vegan Roadie, and I have one mission, to keep it vegan while on the go. My first stop in the Big Easy today is Carmo, featuring eclectic and traditionally inspired dishes, fresh local ingredients with unique flavors from around the world. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite sandwiches I've ever had on my travels in the US. The Rico Sandwich at Cafe Carmo is a breadless fork sandwich made of a grilled plantain patty. Topped with melted vegan cheese, spicy vegan meat, avocado, salsa fresca, and finished off with Carmo's tangy, sweet, and spicy Rico sauce served with organic greens, drizzled with mango vinaigrette. This is my first stop in New Orleans every time I visit. They have this and so much more, catering to vegans, vegetarians, omnivores. Be sure to check out everything about Cafe Carmel at cafecarmel.com. <laughs> Keeping it magical are the Crepe Wizards at the Crepe Cart, located inside the French Market, open from 10 a.m. until 5.30 p.m., serving an array of delicious treats from sweet and savory with both vegan and gluten-free options. With a special cart designed from the ground up by the owners Tracy and Samantha, they add the same love and care to every crepe made at the Crepe Cart. I love the crepe cart because if I want something for breakfast, I can get my veggies in, but if I want something sweet, I can add chocolate or Nutella or strawberries. It's been really hard in New Orleans to find gluten-free and they have lots of options. I'm here with crepe wizard Samantha today at the crepe cart, and I was a hot mess making these in culinary school. I was getting batter everywhere. Can you maybe school me, give me a few little lessons here in making a crepe? I can give you some tips on how to make that. Please, can we make one? Let's do it. Yeah. You want to pour out about that much. Okay. <laughs> and then you let so, the weight of the crepe one. And that's like a pancake size you put on there. So basically, so. yeah. You're okay. thinning out a pancake is what you're doing. And it's, it's, it's not all about the wrists is what you were telling me. No, it's all about the fingertips. So you let okay. the crepe one slowly rotate between your fingers while your elbow travels the circumference of the grill. And then... You take the spatula, and I like to go under the entirety to make sure that I don't have any sticking points. Okay. And then you fold it in half-ish. I saw one with pesto on it. Can you tell us about that one? Yeah, it's a pecan pesto that we make uh, from fresh basil, lemon, um, pecans, and pine nuts. It's got fresh broccoli, spinach, and tomatoes in it. A little Delicious. bit of salt. Okay. It helps if you pat them. They okay. taste better. Okay. Love pats. A little love pat. Yeah. I love it. A little love pat. <laughs> and then uh, we put these cones in there okay. so that the pesto doesn't drip down the front of the oh, okay. person eating it. Convenient to go holder. Looking out for everyone. That's mm -hmm. great. Wow. There we have our vegan and gluten free pesto. <laughs> you can grow all these things in your backyard. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Even the basil for the pesto. It tastes like pesto that has cheese. I wouldn't even know. This is delicious. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Now it was my turn to get hands on. Time to see if I had the delicate handwork it takes to succeed. Luckily, I had Samantha by my side every step of the way. Is that okay at all? Yeah, no, that's not bad. Uh. You know I have a sweet tooth, so I put together the banana boat from the menu with sliced bananas, shredded coconut, pecans, and cinnamon with a dose of organic vegan powdered sugar. Alright, we did it. Cheers. Cheers. This is a meal. It ain't no snack. Decadent with a street food flair that satisfies my hunger. Thanks for watching The Vegan Roadie. Please click subscribe and come back next week for part two of New Orleans.